Uh, check out this picture right here. This is our morning shot from yesterday here on Brightside. It's a double rainbow. It was sent to us from Tony D. Conlon, a viewer out in Clearwater. Very unique for a lot of different reasons, Grant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, here's the thing that's, that's really cool about this, and I, and I love when, when, when you guys get involved on social media with yeah. this. Alan Jenny saw it, and he pointed out, the colors in that second rainbow are reversed from the first rainbow. And, and just like Alan's thinking, you're probably wondering, well, why? Right. Why does that happen? If you got a minute, guys, I'll explain. So to explain a double rainbow, we've got to explain how rainbows form in the first place. So in order to see one, put your back to the sun, face the rain. That's where you're going to find that rainbow. When the sunlight travels into a raindrop, that sunlight comes in as white light. And think about a prism here. As it moves into the raindrop, it's refracted. That white light is refracted and all the colors of the rainbow are then able to be seen. So as the light moves into the rain or the raindrop, it is reflected off of the back of that raindrop and then as it travels back toward us, the viewer, those colors are then able to disperse and we're able to see that rainbow. So that's, that's one rainbow that we're able to see. So here's the deal with two rainbows. The light travels into the raindrop. One of uh, some of those light is, uh, some of that light is able to be exit, or exits out the raindrop and you see rainbow number one. The second rainbow is because that light is reflected again. So it's a mirror image of that first rainbow, thus giving us two rainbows. And that's how you're able to get two rainbows because it reflects twice within the raindrop.